In this video, we will be removing a driver from their vehicle on the fleet system. This will already have been done physically on the drop form, so it's now a case of a corner on the fleet system and attaching a copy of the drop form to the vehicle event. So in this case, we're taking the driver out of the vehicle, so we have to do the workflow for that which is driver vehicle return. So you then just follow the process, uh, select your depots, select your driver, select the fuel level and put in the mileage. Once you've done that, we're then in a place where we can process the return. So as it's processing here, what you'll see is the registration disappearing, appearing, then disappearing again. That is the system taking the driver out of the vehicle on it. So once the five steps have been done, it says, do you wish to edit the new event? So yes. We'll select OK. Now, before you do anything else, you want to make sure that the system has done it correctly and removed the driver from the vehicle. So, what we want to do is select the magnifying glass, which then brings up the vehicle profile here. We can then see that the current driver is blank, so the system has removed the driver from the vehicle in this case. You then, before you go back into the vehicle event itself, you want to decide the status of the vehicle so you're keeping it up to date. If you've got someone else going in the vehicle, that's fine, just leave it as active. If you are off hiring the vehicle, you'll put the status to terminated. If it's going to be inactive, if the driver's going hold it or for whatever reason, we just aren't putting someone in the vehicle, we will mark it as inactive. If it's a warranty issue, going away for cleanup, service, or insurance repair. So every one of these will have a deactivate from service date. That will be the date that you take the person out of the vehicle. And also the expected return to service. So let's say you're putting it into the garbage, you know that it's going to take about a week to repair. So you can put it down and you expect the vehicle back in seven days. So this applies to any vehicle that is either not active, support, or is going to be done as terminated. What I'm going to do though in this case is change it to active because we are going to put someone back in it later. So once you've established that the driver is out of the vehicle, you can come out of the profile and you go back in the event. So you'll see event details uh, for the payment plan is vehicle registration and return of the driver. That is, if you were doing a payment plan, it automatically populates this field so that when you create the payment plan, it will show up in there. So the actual event note, what we want to do is just mark up what's happened. <clears throat> so you see that the mileage is already in, the fuel is already in, so we've covered it previously. And then you just want to select who your manager is, who's doing it, get signature in. And then we can go on the inspection. So again, no re repayment plan because you would do it later, create the workflow, yes. So the workflow and the inspection is exactly the same as doing a spot check. The only thing that's different is the workflow type. So in this case, it's a vehicle swap. So again, you've done all this via the drop form, so you complete it and just go into each task. So the full spot check, that's the 22 items from earlier. You've done that, any damage. The person who came out of the vehicle signs it, which they will do on the drop form for you. If you were given this vehicle to a new driver, make sure that they have a keychain and if it was a new driver going into the vehicle, that they signed for it as well. Again, that would be done in the drop form. So you've signed all that. 
You then take a copy of the drop form, put it in here. Now, again, if you're doing it on the iPad, you'll have the six pictures. If there's any damage to it, you will enter the damage record. You go through the same process, same steps as uh, previous time, which we've shown you. And then you would come out of the inspection back into the event. You would then mark up that there was damage at fault and you create the payment plan and the driver would sign up via the drop form. So that driver is now out of this vehicle on the system. So when you create your daily report on the fleet system, it will show this driver has not been assigned to this vehicle anymore. And that is all you need for taking a driver out of the vehicle.